Hello, in this video, we're going to show that this function is a probability density function over this interval here, zero to infinity. So to show it's a density function, um, we have to note or show or verify a couple things. Uh, let's just go in order. So the first thing is that f is continuous. So f is continuous. There's no issues here. Uh, this is a continuous function. Uh, on this interval. Um, it could be continuous everywhere except at possibly a finite number of points. But in our case, it's the product of con continuous functions, so it's continuous, uh, certainly continuous everywhere in this interval. Two, uh, f is non-negative, which is also true on this interval. Uh, so f is non-negative. Also very easy to see. Um, x is always going to be uh, greater than or equal to zero, and e to the negative x is always going to be positive. So the product uh, will always be uh, greater than or equal to zero. So it's always non-negative. And then the third condition um, is gonna be uh, perhaps the biggest one to show. We have to show that if we integrate from negative infinity to infinity of f of x with respect to x, uh, that we actually get one. And so our function here again is f of x equals x e to the negative x. So what we'll do now is we'll just basically take this and we'll plug it in here and we should be able to work it out. So negative infinity to infinity of f of x dx. Now um, our function's only defined uh, on this interval here, zero to infinity. So the rest of it's not gonna matter. So this is basically just from zero to infinity uh, of x e to the negative x um, dx. The rest of it doesn't even exist, right? There's not going to be any any function there. It'll just be zero. So, yeah. And then to integrate this, uh, let's first go ahead and eliminate that infinity symbol. What you can do is you can replace it with the variable like b and put a limit outside the integral sign. So it's basically saying you're just going to take the limit uh, to deal with that. Uh, infinity. That's how you deal with the infinity symbol, right? You just say, hey, it's a limit uh, because limits are defined. And now we have to integrate this. What we can do there uh, is use tabular. So I'll scroll down and do it down here. So basically you make two columns, one for x, one for e to the negative x, and then you just differentiate that first column. So taking the derivative of x, you get one. Doing it again, you get zero. Then you integrate this second column. Remember, when you're integrating like e to the 3x, you know, you kind of just divide by 3. Or e to the 4x, you know, you divide by 4. So here it's e to the negative 1x. So you divide by negative 1. Then you do it again. So negative and negative become positive. Put a plus sign, minus plus. Always start with a plus and then draw arrows. And then that's your answer. So this is the limit. As b approaches infinity, of, let's follow the arrows. So negative x e to the negative x minus e to the negative x. And uh, we're going from 0 to b. Let's not forget our limits here. Plug in the b, subtract, plug in the 0. Let's see what happens when we do that. So let's see. If we plug in b, we get negative b. I have not done this problem, by the way. This is my first time doing it. So plug in the b there and then minus, and then we plug in zero. So it's gonna be zero, or it's zero minus one. Okay, and I can just put a bigger parenthesis here for even added more, added more added clarity. This limit is zero, this limit is zero, right? Because this is gonna be negative b over e to the b, which the exponential grows faster than the linear. This exponential function grows way faster than this polynomial, so this is gonna approach zero. Likewise, this is one over e to the b. It's also gonna approach zero. So all of this is just zero. And then this is just negative and negative is positive, so you just get one. So it checks, so it's equal to one. So yes, it's a probability density function because it's continuous, non-negative. And when you integrate it over the entire real line, you get one. So pretty cool, right? Pretty cool. So we did it. Hopefully this video has helped you uh, and you can follow this process for other examples that you may have to do. I hope it's been helpful. Good luck.